So we found a quiet corner here at Teardown with a lot of awesome things which we'll, we'll probably get on to talking about in a minute. But one thing caught my eye, anyone who's been watching Electromaker for uh, more than one or two episodes will know that I uh, get very distracted by anything to do with microcontrollers and music. Um, and I think there are many folks out there that watch the show who are in that crossover of people who are into embedded and uh, hobby electronics and also small samplers. The shining example these days, of course, being the pocket operators and things like that. And this is definitely uh, something that comes from that. So Ord Calc is your creation. And am I right in thinking it sort of came from the idea of wanting to do more with a small sampler and then ending up with something that was completely custom? Yeah, so I I used to do a lot of like portable music stuff, like Game Boy music, and the pocket operators are obviously an inspiration. Like This was me being like, I want a pocket operator, except I want to write my own firmware for it, because that seems like fun. I like writing music code. Uh, and then four years later, <laughs> I have this thing. So um, it's, yeah, it's a little bit different than a pocket operator. It's about the same form factor, but um, I went way overboard adding MIDI in and out and like USB MIDI and uh, sampling and a bunch of synthesizers and all that stuff. So, yeah. Absolutely. And, and one of the things you mentioned there is, uh, is is a key difference to a lot of the kind of small form factor samplers. As you said, this does have sampling capabilities, but it also has a fully featured synth engine on it, uh, thanks to the the much loved by everybody mutable instruments. Um, yeah. So um, if you were, just, just for folks that may not be particularly familiar, um, to give a, a general rundown of what this box can do. So, I mean, it, it, it is a sequencer. Mm -hmm. It also has synthesizer engines. It's also a sampler. Um, what other features are there packed into this tiny little shell? Yeah, so it's, like you said, it's a sequencer mm -hmm. uh, that can sequence either synthesizers mm -hmm. or samplers um, or actually MIDI output. Mm -hmm. um, and it also supports MIDI sync and like the pocket operator or Korg Volca like audio yeah, sync. Yeah, so you can you can send like CV sync into mm -hmm. it. Um, yeah, and then I just kind of kept adding features to the sequencer. So it's got like conditional triggers and re-triggers and different like lengths of patterns per per voice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's got a bunch of stuff. In there. Yeah, yeah. Well, as you say, it's uh, four years down the line. It's yeah. kind of slowly come together. And uh, you mentioned before we uh, we started filming this that um, the, uh, the the core of this. I mean, obviously, there's the audio codec that you mentioned before for uh, input and output. But the core of this is the uh, the RP2040 uh, from right. Raspberry Pi. Um, so how how have you found using that as the general purpose kind of kind of controller for working with audio? Uh, great. <laughs> so I started, the first version of this was a Teensy 4, mm -hmm. which was cool, and some pocket devices like the M8 use, use that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, that one's great. It's got a ton of RAM, mm -hmm. and it's really fast. Um, but I think it was, like, during the chip shortage mm -hmm. around 20... 20 was when the, I think that's when the chip shortage was uh, when the RP2040 came out I could buy them and actually use them and I found that they were like good enough for running everything that I wanted and like you know I, I added like reverb and and all the synths and they just kept running like yeah. I kept adding more stuff and it kept working so it's fine like I, I have no complaints about it um, I like I totally recommend it to people. I probably wouldn't build something this complicated with it again. I'd do yeah. something like more focused, like a single module, mm -hmm. like rack module or something. Um, but yeah, it, it's a great chip to use for audio. For sure, yeah. And uh, and again, one of the things that you d did mention beforehand is while this is something that is going to be coming together uh, as eventually something that will probably be available to buy, um, the, the nature of this project kind of fits very much with the open hardware, open software idea Theology. Yeah. Um, so theoretically, it would be a nightmare for them to do so, but theoretically someone could get the design files and spin one of these up by themselves. Yeah. Um, as you mentioned, this is still in the early stages, it's not ready for release, and there isn't really much of a presence of it online so far, but if people do want to kind of keep up with the project, do you have a, like a point of contact, like a, a social media account or something that you use for that? Yeah, so you can find me on GitHub at slash J-O-N-B-R-O, mm -hmm. John Bro, and then I'm somewhat active on Instagram, J-O-N-B-R-O, five, 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 six mm -hmm. on Instagram. Um, yeah, I'll I keep it updated. But the, the project's on GitHub already if you mm -hmm. want to just grab... I don't think I posted the Gerbers, but you can grab the KiCad files and all the enclosure files and the firmware 
compile it yourself, add new features if you want. So, yeah. Absolutely. And, and as much as that's a wonderful thing, and there may be a few people who would take that on, <laughs> I imagine there'll also be a, a number of people that will be really happy to see yet another really fully featured mini synth and everything pocket thing. But yeah, it, congratulations. I've been playing with this thing and it's an absolute thing of beauty. Cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Wicked. And I'm literally going to sit like this. is absurdly nice. <laughs> Thanks. You didn't find the reverb when you were playing. No, no, no. Yeah, I was I was <laughs>